Line styles are what Revit Architecture uses to assign to drafting and model lines, as well as for certain types of other objects. You edit line styles by selecting additional settings from the Manage Ribbon Bar Settings panel. From the list, you will notice that line styles are grouped with line weights and line patterns. These settings, in addition to the color display of a line, are what line styles control. The line styles that ship with Revit Architecture are visible in this window. These categories are those used outside of the model objects. All the styles that you see are built in and cannot be deleted. As you can see from their names, they exist for very specific purposes in Revit Architecture. When creating sketch-based components, this is where you may override the magenta color if necessary. Some of the line styles indicate that they are useful for detailing, such as thin, medium, and wide. It should be noted that if you are coming from a 2D CAD environment where line color was necessary to determine the pen weight of a plotted or printed drawing, this is not the case in the Revit platform. The line weights are specifically designed to handle this, and they respond to scale to determine the thickness of our output on paper. There is also a special line style which is not displayed on the list. It's the line style named Invisible Lines. You're not able to change the properties of that style as it is designed to provide a way to place lines which either mask lines below them or override their properties in a view so that they will not display unless they are selected and they will not print. The lines which are not indicated by brackets are for your use in adding information to your model. You may create your own new subcategories and assign a name. These are considered user-created line styles, and you have the ability to remove them. From here, you can specify the line weight, the line color, and line pattern as desired. Creating new line styles is only available from the project environment. If you must create variety in the appearance of lines from within the family editor, you cannot create new line styles, but you can modify line weight, line color, and line pattern. The line styles created in this dialog are stored within the current project. It is possible to have more line styles in your project than you intend to use. A Revit Architecture project will inherit line styles from imported CAD files. To illustrate this, click on the Insert tab and choose Import CAD from the Import panel. Navigate to the Courseware Datasets location and select SiteModelImperial.dwg or SiteModelMetric.dwg appropriate to your units. Accept all the default settings and click Open. The CAD file appears under the model. Open the Line Styles dialog and you will not notice any new styles added. However, if we select the CAD import and choose Explode, viewing the Line Styles again shows those which were imported are now native Revit Line Styles. To reduce the volume of these, it is best to modify the Imported Objects section of the Object Styles for the associated CAD file before exploding, or consider refraining from doing so.